Let the Jews say amen. Amen. The Jews say amen again. Amen. Truly, we thank the Lord tonight for his goodness. We thank the Lord for his loving kindness towards us. Truly, the Lord is good. Amen. And there is none that could ever take his place. Amen. 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 Tonight, I'd like to invite your attention. chapter the fourth chapter of Ephesians verse 14 Ephesians 4 and 14 and it reads in your, your hearing that we henceforth be no more children Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And my thought tonight would be the spirit of rebellion. Father, we thank you for this time and this space. Speak to our hearts and our minds as we go into your word. Give us ears to hear, a mind to obtain what the spirit says to the church. It would be so ever to give your name to praise. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. The spirit of rebellion. Rebellion means opposition or defiant of authority. Refuse to accept or comply. Open, bold, or hostile refusal to obey or confirm to rules orders or instructions. And Paul explains to us in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, he said that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. In other words, he's saying all the teachings that you hear, where they're coming from. Right. Who's proclaiming it? Mm -hmm. Is it coming from the word of God? Or is it just what somebody else is saying? Amen. And he's saying that so many people be tossed to and fro, going back and forth, confused. Mm -hmm. He says... By doctrine, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, wherein by they lie and wait to deceive. People will try to deceive you every chance they get, especially if you mean business with God. Amen. They come with attitudes, characters messed up, they don't care, long as they can deceive you and make you feel some type of way. Isaiah 28 and 9 Evangelist please. Isaiah 28 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Whom shall he teach knowledge? Who? Who shall I teach knowledge? Mm. Mm -hmm. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who can I make to understand doctrine or his teachings? Who? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. Get away from the milk. Mm. You're going to learn so. It's and the milk that keeps your attention towards the meat. Uh-huh. 
and drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. He's saying you got to move from the milk mm -hmm. and move on to the meat. Hebrews, the fifth chapter, verses 11 through 14. Hebrews, this King James Version. Uh -huh. Of whom we have many things to say, mm -hmm. and hard to be uttered, mm -hmm. seeing ye are dull of hearing. Dull of hearing. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Yes, dull of hearing. They don't hear what God say. They heard it, but they don't hear not hearing what God says. Mm -hmm. They don't take the time out to read the Bible. Or understand what the scriptures are saying to them. So when God gives them a mouthpiece to speak to them, they ignore it and their ears are dull. Wow. Uh -huh. For when for when for the time you ought to be teachers, mm -hmm. you have need that one teach you again. In other words, you supposed to be teaching. Something now. My How long you going to drink milk? You're 40 years old running around with a bottle and a pamper. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be teaching. You're supposed to be studying or hearing what the word of God is saying to you. I don't know why folk think that when they come to Christ, that's just it. That's just the beginning right. of an entire new life. Education, financially, mm -hmm. integrity, your character, your attitude, and his divine purpose in your life. Amen. Amen. That's why it's important as we being who we are, you're supposed to be teaching if it is nothing but teaching to your children, your in-laws, your outlaws, teaching something mm -hmm. you've been knowing too long. Read. You have need that one teach you again, mm. which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Which be the first principles of the oracle of God. Uh-huh. And are become such as have need of milk. You need more milk. Wait a minute. You've been off the bottle. Right. And you're trying to get back on the bottle. You know what's in the bottle. You know the nourishment you got from the bottle. Because the milk brought your teeth. Mm -hmm. You don't need no more milk to keep your teeth. Nope. You need meat. And the teeth to bite into the meat. Mm -hmm. He's saying now it's your job to understand what he's saying to you. So somebody else can get this joy. Bless you, sir. Uh-huh. And not a strong meat. Mm -hmm. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Oh my goodness. Everyone. Now, and I've seen people in the body of Christ for years doing the same thing under tradition and religion. Have not grown at all. Ain't trying to grow. They don't even know what that word means. All they know how to do is holler and scream. And run around, and when you get out the parking lot, they're gonna cuss you out. Right. <laughs> so oh, yes. You got to grow. Yes, sir. You can't stay the same. Amen. When you first was born, you was a week old, two weeks old, three weeks, don't you see the growth? Right. A month, two months, then a year come, and then another. You were what? Growing in right. age. Because you can grow stupid. <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. If you say you love God and you attending here now studies and seeking God with your relationship, <coughs> or you're going to know something. 
For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a baby. You've been in the church 35 years, you're still a baby. And you go on running with uh, with uh, 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 brother emotions and mother instigator and all of them. It, they all, they all, listen, has to grow. Now you can either grow in righteousness or you can grow in darkness. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of darkness in the church. Because they reject God's word. They reject what he says. They just rebellious. They revolt up against him. And anybody that represent him, they revolt up against him. Everybody wants to have their way. It's only one way. That's right, sir. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. Amen. You can't go around him. You can't go over him. You can't go under him. He said, you got to come to the door. Amen. Next verse. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Now, strong meat belongs to them of full age. Now, you're saying what? Or on an average age or in their knowledge. Mm. And it is their knowledge that keep them growing on the word. Because the word is meat by itself. Amen. When you think about the word of God, you can't go to sleep until you get an understanding. Or you're going to sense them scriptures. And you're going to be saying, God, you're talking to me. This is personal. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? You see how you're growing from one scripture to the next scripture? The milk is on the side because, see, milk gets sour. Mm -hmm. And milk gets sour is no good mm -hmm. unless you're going to make buttermilk. Right. Ain't too many people fond of buttermilk. Amen. But buttermilk and cornbread is good now. Don't get me wrong now. But he wants you to understand. <laughs> he wants you to butter up in the word. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Read. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. Oh my goodness, what? To discern both good and evil. He said, those who by reason of use have their senses. They activate it. They exercise to discern both good and evil. And as being in Christ, you know the difference between good and evil. Romans 16. Mm -hmm. Verses uh, 17 and 18. Now I beseech you, mm -hmm. brethren, mm -hmm. mark them which cause divisions and often. Oh, hold it there. Hold it. Listen to that. Talk. Listen, to what, listen to what Paul is saying. Mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. And avoid them. Mm -hmm. Some folk, you gotta just discharge them from you. They never really want to be around you, but they were around you because of your gift. Mm -hmm. And your gift, some learned from your gift, some wanted your gift. So they did everything they can to mess up you and your gift. So scripture says here, he said, mark them, see who they are. And he said, because they cause division. And office is contrary to what you're being taught. You're being taught what the word of God is saying. They're coming in talking some other characteristic stuff. Oh, they're talking about the mothership and uh, uh, the Sabbath and all of that. That's law. Come on, sir. That's shadow. Come on. We are under reality, which is the New Testament. And folks so confused. I've never seen more people 
want to learn, but they learn in the wrong way. First, submit yourself to God, not people. If you submit yourself to God, that leader of that congregation, whatever, ain't going to have no problem out of you because you're in tune with the tune maker. Amen. And when you're in tune with God, there's going to be a difference. Mark them. Which cause the vision. Because they can say things. They'll lie on you. You ain't never been lied on. But watch out. It's coming. They're going to say something. Always disrespectful. And in other words, they're laughing grin in your face. And rip your head off they can. By their thoughts, their minds, and their desires. He said, you got to mark them. They, listen, they ain't hard to find. They ain't hard to find. You take out your Bible and start to read and get the marker in there and start thanking God and start blessing God for exactly what his word says. There's going to be a difference. It has to be. Because of who you are. Yeah, they know you somebody. So mark them. Which caused the vision in our offenses, contrary to the teachings, to the doctrine which you have here learned. You already learned it. And since you learned it, it's solid to you. But to them, no, it, it, don't, it don't take all that. I don't believe this. I don't believe in tithes. I don't believe in offering. I don't believe in fasting. I don't believe in all that praying all night, praying, I don't believe in all that. What, what do you believe in? He believes in destroying you. Yeah. That's why you got to be so careful when folks try to be close to you. Yeah. What are you close for? If you seeking God, if they seeking God, listen, it shouldn't be no problem. Amen. But you find out there's a problem. And the problem is it's like the wheat and the tear. See, who done this? This happened during the night. Some evil came in and destroyed, or tried to destroy the wheat. But he said, don't pluck them out, leave them in. He said, let the tear and the wheat grow together. He said, but they're trying to kill the wheat. He said, they're strong. If God said you're strong, Amen. and you keep them out weak, he said, shut up, you're strong. Because you got tears in your life. You said what you want every last one. You got some tears in your life. Somebody else trying to tear you down. <laughs> they always trying to tear you down. They don't let you know anyway. You check, check, all, all, all the church stuff. That's why I get my feelings. I'm abiding in the vine. I'm just a branch. I got to stay strong. I got to be nourished. So what? I go to church. So I can learn and understand. Well, you know, you can get this education over here, you know, you come to the seminar. Well, you can stay in the seminar while I'm in the cemetery. Amen. Are you scared? Rebellious. Rebellious. Take you straight from the seminar to the seminary. Right. Or the seminary. Hello? Or what a cough, cough. In. <laughs> Not coffee. Cough, then. <laughs> what it's called final. Destination. That's right. Your final destination. They put rest in peace. I guess you will be resting in peace. You can't move. Hello. Amen. 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 If the dead could speak, they say, you better hear what he's saying. You got a chance. Amen. I had mine and I blew it. But if you blew it, let it be with God. Amen. What do you mean? Blowing in the wind with God. Mm. Because once your flesh goes, to the ground, your spirit. You see, being absent from the body, I'm in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, those that are not saved, when they die, where do you think they should be going at? Mm -hmm. Their body there. They go down. They go down. Mm -hmm. They go down. 
H-E-L-L down. Hell bound down. That's where they go. That's where the spirit people go. That's why Satan never stops. He listen, listen. He built in his kingdom constantly. And, and you know what he does? He got the world. But he always tampering with the church. Always remember, when God bless you, arm yourself. Why? Likewise. Because the enemy don't like it when you get blessed. And he hates it when you get favor. Amen. You can't help because you're blessed like that. Amen. You just thank God and hold your head up. Amen. Amen. Never let pride and boasters come in. Amen. But give God praise for who he is to you. Yes, sir. Amen. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he said, listen, and avoid them. Mm -hmm. Some folk know you got to erase out your phone. Yeah. Amen. Some folk don't mean you no good. They always want to know your business. The Lord said, what did he say? What did he say? Well, I can't tell you now. Oh, you can't? Well, why did you call me and tell me that the Lord said something? Well, I just want to see how you're feeling. I'm feeling fine. But I see what you're trying to do. I see exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me feel some type of way early in the morning. Why? Because they got an attitude. God showed me something. The devil show you stuff too. But who you gonna trust? That's why I said when you're in a relationship with God, you know the difference between good and evil. Amen. Amen. Everything look good. Ain't good. I'm telling you. You say, look at that grass. From way over here. When you get over here, you find an apple server. It ain't even real. Like I said before, I'll never forget. I went to this house to turn these people's services on. The place looked good. The fruit looked beautiful. And I was gone and I was looking. She was smiling. I said, where did you buy the fruit from? I had nothing like that. She said, would you like one? I said, don't mind if I do. And she started smiling and said, it ain't real. I said, it sure look real. I said, that is amazing. And, 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 and listen, that apple, I had my mind on apple. apple. I wanted an apple, an orange, and a pear. I want because they look so good. What did I do when I left? I went and got me an apple, orange, pear, and some bananas, and some grapes. Set them in the truck, and I was eating them. And I said, she want to play games with me. I got the real, real thing, man. But all I was saying, do you see the eyes? can bring you in to a whole new different <clears throat> dispensation because of what we want. Everything that look good ain't good. Ain't good. Amen. That's why beauty can't be beauty. Okay. <laughs> I, I think you better read. <laughs> For they that are such serve uh -huh. not our Lord Jesus well, Christ. They don't serve. What did you say? They don't serve him? For, 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 for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus. But you want to talk? You want to tell me the Lord said something? He's speaking to you? You don't even serve him. He don't. Jeremiah, the 23 chapter said, they prophesied in my name. He said, I don't even talk to these people. He said, I don't even know them. They that are such serve not our Lord Jesus. But what? But their own belly. Always talking about getting something to eat. Always talking about let's go out and eat. And if you go out with them, they ain't going to pray. Mm -hmm. All they do is chow down and never tell God thank you. And the first thing they're going to tell you when they start eating, look at you. On the ribs, what you think about so and so? Mm -hmm. They think about him. They think about her. Uh, you know, let me tell you something, girl. And you know, when they start looking around like this, if you watch them, you like, you gotta stop because you gotta hear what they're saying. You think it's something that that nobody else knows. And look, they already got you. 
You got the got your whole your whole attention right there by the plate. And then they start talking. Well, she said, he said, it was you. And you said, me? You start looking, you start frowning. Well, what you talking about? I can't tell you that right now. But I'm going to tell you later on. But in the meanwhile, pa pass me the, the, the salad dressing right there. <laughs> Get it yourself. You tell me. You, you, you start so you, you see how people operate? They do stuff like that. Yes, he said, they serve their own bellies. That's what they want, their own glory. And? And by good words and fair speeches. Ooh, what they do? Deceive the hearts of the simple. They deceive the hearts of the simple with good words and fair speeches. People can talk. Some got the gift of gab. They can rap that. They can go. I, I never get the people I knew that, you know, I thought they had mute. They didn't, they didn't talk. It was always quiet, clean, cool. But as soon as they got that firewood in them, they ain't shut up for nothing. So I didn't even know you, you, you exist. And then they start talking. Why? Because of their speeches and their good words that they say, but they is all deceiving the heart of the simple. Jeremiah. It's been a little time in Jeremiah, if y'all don't mind. Amen. Six and 10. we start with six and 10 first. Is that all right, Evangelist? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Listen to what he says here. To whom shall I speak? To whom shall I speak? Uh -huh. And give warning. And do what? Give warning. And give warning to whom shall I speak? Uh huh. That they may hear. Mm -hmm. Behold, mm. their ear is uncircumcised. Their what? Their ear they... is uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. And they cannot hearken. They cannot listen. Hearken mean listen. They cannot listen. Uh huh. Behold. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. Good God Almighty. They what? They have no delight in it. They have no delight in it. That's why they don't read. You can send people scriptures every day. Stop sending them for a week. They're going to say, well, they're going to have attitude. Why you ain't sending me no scripture? Why can't you pick up your own Bible and read that? You're helping them so they can go to their Bible. But they depend on you as being their Telephone Bible for you to send them what? Scripture. scripture. And if you don't send them scripture, something wrong. They should be seeking. And that's just only, listen, for a moment when they read the scripture. Do they really get an understanding of the scripture? Mm -mm. That's why it's important. That that personal relationship is so 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 devastating. Jeremiah five twenty one through twenty five. Almost <laughs> take the <time>, bathroom. <laughs> I'm thinking about the. Uh, I'm just watching y'all turn to the pages. You ready to go, man? Yes, Tell me something. Hear now this. Here. He said, here. He should have been putting it whoa, here. But here. Uh-huh. Hear now this. Mm -hmm. Oh, foolish people. Oh, 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 I be saying some heavy stuff. You foolish people. Mm -hmm. And without understanding. No understanding at all. Mm -hmm. Which have eyes mm -hmm. and see not. You got eyes and can't see. You're foolish. You don't understand. You got eyes and you just as blind as a bat. Which what? Which have ears and hear not. And you have ears. You don't hear nothing. He said, you messed up. You messed up. But you want to tell somebody about God. It don't work like that. Read. 
Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. God said, you don't even fear me? You don't fear me? No, you don't fear me, saith the Lord. What? Will you not tremble at my presence? In my presence. You don't feel my presence. You don't tremble at my presence because you won't get in my presence. I'm in your presence, but you don't feel my presence because you are rebellious. And you reject me. You revolt against me. I tell you, go right. You said you're going to go left. You don't tell God what you're going to do. He giving you commands to do as he please. Uh-huh. Which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree. So in other words, he said, you that ever been on the beach, you ever see the sand and you see the water. That water ain't supposed to come past that. That's a decree sets there. Now when the floods come, the water come, it comes over all of that. But he said, but that right there is a borderline. Yes, it's a borderline. Uh huh. That it cannot pass it. Mm -hmm. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yes. yet can they not prevail. Come on. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Mm. They can't pass over it. He said it that way. Yes, he said it. That's why you see so many hurricanes and tornadoes now. Because you're dealing with the God of this world, which is satanic powers. Mm -hmm. Always coming up against God's word and God's law and God's people. But? But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. <laughs> they are revolted and gone. They're gone. Wow. That's the word. Wow. Plain and simple. So, you ain't got to look for so-and-so or where you've been or whatever. He just told you. He said, these people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. They're gone. And misery loves company. You got to see how Satan operated in the body of Christ. When one backslide, he always, they always try to take somebody else with them. One person leave the church, they got to tell somebody else, I don't go there no more. They get on my nerve. They get on my nerve. They didn't give me my $2 back for my chain. Look, I'm telling you, I ain't. They come up with something. They don't want to. They don't. They just be bad. And they cannot make it in the world. That's why they came to Jesus. Amen. And they felt that he wasn't operating and moving like they wanted him to move. And he said, no, 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 baby. You've got to repent. That's right, so you can be restored. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, we just get a little started here. He said, they're gone. They're gone. If you see them somewhere, you might be shopping and everything. They act like they don't even see you. They act like they say something. What? Is that somebody just looked at that? What? Let me go. Miss, you want to get? No, I can get out of here. They're gone. Why? You represent truth. And the truth of the matter now, this is the devil hit him with shame. Hit him with shame. Hit him with shame. Mm. And guilt. She even took that to the cross. Amen. Amen. He took it to the cross. So why should you be shame and guilt? And the only reason why you accepted the shame and guilt is because you rejected him and you are rebellious against him. Once you accept him, now you reject him. You, be you become revolted. And then you turn around and be rebellious. You don't want nobody to tell you nothing. Then you find out the hard way. And the hard way is bad. He say, God is 
angry with the sinner every day. He loved them, but he hate they practice what they do. Next verse. Neither say they in their heart, mm -hmm. let us now fear the Lord our God. He said they don't talk like that. They don't talk like that. Let's, let's, let's now fear the Lord. They ain't talking like that. Mm -hmm. No, no. He said, neither say they in their heart. They know God done some form. Let us fear the Lord our God. That what? That giveth rain, mm -hmm. both the former and the latter, mm -hmm. in his season. Mm -hmm. He reserves unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. He gives us weeks and harvest. He gives us all of that. And, then, and he said, we cannot say in our heart. They don't say it. They don't say it. And they don't want you to say it either. Listen to 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. You hear that? You mess your own blessings up. Your sins. He said, your sins have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things. What? From you. From you. Good things are supposed to come to you ain't coming to you because of your rebellious. My God. Ain't gonna happen. You can come up here and pour blood and all on you. You can stretch out on the floor. It don't mean good because you still be bad. That spirit got to come out of you. It's the spirit of hell. Come on, sir. And get mad. Don't want nobody to say nothing to you. Nobody talk to you. I don't want to hear that they all phony. Well, you was with us. Mm. What was you? If we phony, what was you? But I'm going to find me a perfect church. You are. When you go ahead, if you get there, it ain't going to be perfect. No, 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 no. It's not. Because you bring in all of that junk with you. And you want to go over there to try to tell them how to operate. And they're going to tell you, I think you need to go back where you came from. What's happening? They close the door. Scriptures say, they ain't getting no good thing. I'm withholding. I'm withholding good things from you. That's personal. That's very personal. I'll say that again. Read that again. Your iniquities. Your iniquities have turned away these things. You say, yo, listen, your iniquity, it turned it away. It turned this stuff away. The stuff you didn't pray for? Oh, yeah. That you did fast for and all that. He said, huh? It's gone. And you're going to get mad and leave God. And that's when the enemy boosts you. Yeah, come on, sir. Yeah. I thought you was praying to God. You gave him money. You didn't fast and pray. You didn't get your money and all that. And you better come on back out here and shake that thing. He talk like that. That's what he talk. That's right. He said, look, I'm going to give you another baby. You hit this. You hit it up and you hit it. He keep you out there. Because he knows. That God's glory, God gonna get the glory out of you if you come with God. And Satan don't want it. Satan want the glory. And your sins have withholding good things from you. Oh, if you ain't heard nothing tonight, you heard something here. Amen. You know you walked the right before God, and you mean business with God. It's coming. It was already there. Or if you messed up. Did you make sure you repent yes, sir. Yes. and tell God yes, sir. that don't mean repent and then go get try to get a blessing, go back and do the same thing again. It don't work like that. Now you now you now you walking dead man, dead woman walking. Oh yeah. Say so what happened? Natural causes. You ain't lying. Natural causes. Yeah, they got them Dead on the ride. Yeah, wow. naturally. That's why. Right. Look at it. We get mad at everything. Mm -hmm. We do. Get mad at everything. We keep an attitude when it comes down. If God ain't moving like a, like, like we want Him to move, God ain't got to move at all. He speaks. <laughs> and things move. 
Jeremiah 7. 26 and 28. Mm -hmm. yes. I hope I'm helping somebody. Yes, Amen. Yeah, help myself. Praise <laughs> the Lord, myself. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah the seventh chapter, verse 26 through 28. Yet they hearken not unto me. <laughs> they won't even listen to me. That's what God said. They won't even listen to me. Now, when you start reading this, you say, what kind of people? What kind of people is this that ain't listening to God? He give them sun, give them food. He took everything for them. Every time I think 40 years with the same clothes on, he blessed them and all that. He said, but they ain't listening to me. But he still blessed them. He still took care of them. He said, they, they, they hearken not. They don't listen unto me. Nor, nor incline their ear. Mm. They don't try to hear. They don't try to hear the gospel. They don't try to hear the word of God. Hear ye, hear you. Hear what? Mm. Bless me another drink. That's what you do. No, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. How you get from there to there? Uh, God take any time. So I'm going to take my time. You, you, you can't come on the, the, the same display God is on. What, what's wrong with your finite mind? He said, your ways are not my ways. Neither your thoughts. Uh-huh. But harden their neck. Harden their neck. Mm -hmm. They did worse than their fathers. It was worse than their father. Oh, hard neck, stiff neck. Just ruthless. They, listen, they hear. You can tell when folk mad. Come on, y'all. Let, let's be honest. Let's look at the body. Let's look at the body. I ain't talking about the world. Mm -hmm. The world will give you more respect than, than, than some of the people in the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. So true. Because they see the way you live. Mm -hmm. But the body of Christ, they get mad at all kinds of stuff at you. They show you. By, listen, how their actions, mm -hmm. they show you in their personality. Mm -hmm. When it's time us to do this and do that for the Lord and with the Lord when we worship, but we, they never show up. Mm. Scripture already told us they gone. They're gone. Yeah. Now the scripture tell them they gone. You tell them, come back. In the scripture they gone. Mm. Come back. They gone. And then if you do catch up with them, they got excuses. Come on. And the excuses get them excused mm -hmm. from the blessings. It ain't coming to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like I tell them all, I'm a cleanup man. What you don't want, you leave out the chair. I'll come back, I'll clean up. Da, 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 I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what God gives is good. What you think, it just, it, it's remember the talents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got one, other one got two, the other one got five. Mm -hmm. The one got one, he looked, I got one. Mm -hmm. mm. He got two, I got two more. He got five. God knew what each one would do. The one that had two, he multiplied it. The one that had five, he multiplied it. The one that had a tootie, he was rebellious. You know what he did? He went and buried it. Instead of taking that and putting it in the bank and draw interest off it. See, he one thing. He mad because he got more, and he got more. And that's the same way the body of Christ is. When God start blessing another one, the faith start hitting another one, they start getting mad, they start backsliding, they start to cuss, they start leaving the church. Come on, sir. Come on. Because the simple fact, they, it tells me they never knew him. Because they knew him, they wouldn't act like that. That's why when people think they know you and they find out. They said, oh, they really love the Lord. And they will keep pushing you and keep pushing you and pushing you and, and, and they may catch you and push you when you ain't in prayer. <laughs> and you lay hands on them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And they be getting up and saying, what just happened? God bless you, sister. Come on, brother. You're going to be all right. They look at you and say, something ain't right with you. No, something ain't right with you. 
You laid hands on me. Yes, it was a, it was something in you that had to come out of you. And you couldn't see it, but I saw it. But you feel better now, don't you? Yeah, I feel better. Don't stop touching me. I ain't touching you. I'm just trying to get you, trying to help you there. I'm going to tell them, you punch me in my mind, nobody punch you. Let's lay hands on you in the name of Jesus. Oh. Glory be to God. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Amen. Now, take two prayers and a shake of the glory. You're going to be all right, okay? All right. Thank you. 27, please. <laughs> I'm talking about the charity. They talking about the world. Amen. They people want, and let me tell you something. Satan's working so rapidly. He got preachers and he got all kind of people coming up against the church. Hear me now. And churches and synagogues, you name them, the denomination, they all come in class and hear somebody say, "Can somebody help me get to Jesus?" Wow. They confused. They don't know where to go. Yeah. If they go with them. Then they be saying, wait a minute. These people are, 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 are wild. They rageous. They crazy. Listen, I'm leaving. They got swords and guns. I, I'm trying to leave that. Right. I can't go there. Right, right. And they go over here. You, look, you can be who you want to be. You can do what you want to do. Everybody is tricked up. See, I don't want this neither. Where's well, Jesus? They kicked him out the church. Oh, God. He ain't in there. All these beautiful churches. They look beautiful. They look good. But Jesus ain't in there. Look what's going on. Mm -hmm. COVID did a job to these churches and people. Yes. Killed them. Shut them down. And people say, that's the, thing. that's the way it's supposed to be. You as being a believer got the fellowship. Amen. You got the fellowship. Ain't no talk about my job, my school, my house, my home. That don't mean nothing. Who do you think gave it to you? Amen. If you don't give God the time, you ain't going to have nothing. He just told you. Amen. And what they have, they're going to lose it. Yeah. And he give it to the ones that's doing something. Remember, when you labor, you're going to get paid. Amen. If you're doing good, you're going to get paid. Amen. If you're doing bad, you're going to get paid. Right. <laughs> All the way around. So it's best to be right. right. Because if you suffer with righteousness, say, you're going to get paid. Amen. God going to take care of you. Thank you. Amen. All right. You're 27? Finished. They did worse than their fathers. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. He said, I'm going to talk to them. He said, he said I'm going to speak to them. Uh -huh. But they will not hearken to thee. Oh, mm -hmm. did you hear that? He said, I'm going to speak to them. But they ain't going to listen. I'm telling you now. Now you know when you read about Jesus, some people he didn't even go to. Yeah, yeah. He said, well, another way. Why well, spend my time over there? They don't hate me. They don't hate me. I got to talk about. But I'm going over here to the lost sheep. And that's what's happening today. And you even got to be careful how you express yourself as being a representative of God. Because people don't like him. They can't stand him. And if you represent him, they don't care nothing about you. They smile in your face. Always want to take your place. In other words, they can't take that place with God. God got you. And it may look like you're going through. But, but see, when you're going through, you're going through, God's eyes on you. He's looking how you're going to deal with it, how you're going to handle it. He said, I gave my word, study it. Yeah. Put my word out there. You my word, you come through it, you can come out with joy. Amen. And then he's like, rejoice. Mm. Stop trying to get people to like you. Amen. Cut dry. Either you're going to love me or you're going to hate me. I like you. See, you would hate that. If you said you said you like me, you're really telling me you can you can love me and you can hate me. So I'm gonna take it on that you hate me because you don't care nothing about me. Yeah. They will show you what they're about. They talk a good talk. And so we talked about that. God speaks is fair, but that whole thing do is to tear you down. Satan always wanna get inside, he always wants attention. He assass he demonstrates to assassinate. That's his whole job. And he does, listen, and he's been doing a job on the saints. 
And when you go to them and try to help some of them, nah, I don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that. Well, that's what we're here for, to help one another. We can't help one another. You dissing yourself, you hiding and peeping out the house and all that kind of stuff. We ain't bill collectors. <laughs> we ain't the sheriff. No, we ain't. It's your brother and sister in the Lord. We want to help you. Amen. You're sick and tired of us because of simple fact. You prospering. You, 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 watch how you start. Watch how God start blessing you prospering. New Year ain't good. Some of you bless for New Year get it, but they won't bless you. Because you're hanging in there. And you got to see how the enemy attacked the church. If he got them on the, on Friday night, which is healing and deliverance, you tell me they healing and delivered, that devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. They sitting on watching this broadcast, and I hope you're watching it because I'm talking to you. Hello, somebody. Amen, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, yeah. America. You got to repent. Amen. Amen. And come back to Jesus. Amen. 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 Thou shalt also call unto them. Come on. But they will not answer they thee. They wouldn't even answer. They're calling them now. They don't want to answer. They don't want to hear. Anytime your leader call you to call the, the, the check on you to find and you won't answer. And you ignore. And then when I do talk to you, they have excuses. Why? Oh, you're gone. You're gone. I don't like it. I know you don't. That's what I told you. You hate me. Mm -hmm. Without a That's what Jesus said. Hello? Amen. As long as you was getting. <laughs> Ooh, get my pastor. Mm -hmm. He preached it. He's the way. Mm -hmm. But when things ain't going the way you want them to go, I don't like it. All right. You always want something. I'm building the kingdom. Amen. With or without you. Right. You got to make up your mind what you want to do. Amen, somebody. Amen. You can't be in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, uh, uh, and the Air Force. You can't be in all four at one time. <laughs> you may make you a superhero, but you're going to find out when you get over that hill here. Yeah. <laughs> no see no more. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is a bomb and give it. For real. Amen. All right. Did you give me 28? Listen to 28. But thou shalt say unto them. What, what did you say? This is a nation mm. that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord a their God. America does not. No, sir. Look what they're doing. Mm. Everybody got rights. Everybody got rights. Right, right. You hear me? Koreans got rights. White got rights. Black got rights. But what's God's right? Mm. Nobody want to lean on God's right. Mm. And they doing everything against the nature of God. God. Yes. yes, they are. On, they, it's so bold now to commercial. Two men sitting around parenting. What you raise a parent kid? No children. Let me tell you something. That ain't cool. Right. That's, that's tell them that they, 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 people can love who they want to love. Mm -hmm. You're not lying. Come on. You're talking. They can love who they want to love. Mm -hmm. What about Jesus? Well, this is my mate. Two pretty women. Kissing one another. And one strolling, the other one want to be a woman. Or it was she is a woman. The other one want to be a man. That's not good. But look what it's doing to the younger generation that's coming up. They think it's already, they're confused already. The Bible says they are confused. They are hurting. Dealing with all this homosexuality and lesbianism. And then this dog stuff. Loving and kissing dogs all in the face. Licking all on them. I love my Poochie. Let me tell you about Poochie. Poochie got a lot of unclean spirits too. Yes, he did. <laughs> a 
Hello. Amen. But it's America. The Bible is right. They are worshiping things. They are worshiping people. They are worshiping animals. Right as we speak. And they think it's cool. Ain't nothing new under the sun. No, sir. There was a lot of sweeties back there and a lot of sweeties out here today. Yeah, and there are a lot of wannabe uh, women that want to be men back then right here. Yeah. A lot of that started back there with King Solomon. Yeah, but that, that, the, that only macaroni I know. I don't only macaroni I know. God gave him uh, a 700 wives. And he put, and look, and then turn around, and God said, don't mess with them fine women. He had three of them. He had a little more than that, too. But let, let me tell you something. God said, don't mess with them. But he spent all his time. He said, they're going to make you hate me. They're going to make you, no, God. No, <laughs> God. And the 700 he had, no men could touch them. If a man looked at them, they killed them. So what happened? That lesbian spirit came in. He come through the court, keep going, do, 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 do. where you going? He going to the compromise. But what about them? They need the needs. Yeah, there, there are a lot of women right now, but I, I, you got seven, you got 300 over there. You got 700 over there. No I'm going go 300. No, you went because it was against God. Mm -hmm. God, God did show you something. He was showing him something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you control. Since you ain't you out of control, I'm gonna give you seven hundred. Mm. If that don't keep you alive, something wrong with you, boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that devil capacity in him, wow. his lust outgrowed himself, mm -hmm. and they turned him away from God. Yeah. Bless you, and you gotta really look what's going on. Same thing then, same thing now. Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot said at the gate, mm -hmm. spotted them when they came in. And he said to them, he said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. These, these men are my guests. We want these men. These men said they want these men, but they were angels. He said, well, look, take my daughters. But these are my guests. I mean, we don't want no woman. We want them men. Their passion was so evil. And so hateful that they they were trying to get to the men and the angels blinded all of them. Mm -hmm. When they're blinding them, their passion so heavy, they start to feel them full of joy now. Is it over here? Where are they? They're gone. They're gone. Angels say, get your family, get to the hills, and don't you look back. Because God is going to destroy this city. And as they was gone, his wife heard that girl holler back there. She turned around and looked. Why she look? Why did she look? Question mark. Why did she look? What was wrong with you, Sister Lot? Sister Lot has some winky dinks in her spirit. She had a lot going on. Yeah. And she turned around. And her monument stands today as a petrified pillar of salt. But that ain't stop. It, it go up into the mountains. Lot and his daughters. And they said, well, we don't have no man. We don't have we, we don't have no children. We don't have no offspring or anything. And the enemy came and got the father drunk. And they made love to their father. It's called incest. That's where your Amorites and your Mobilites come from. Come from Amorites and your Mobilites. That's where they come from. Incest. A nation of incest. The devil don't, look, look, he don't leave you alone. Enlightenment business and what they did to him. He got him drunk and did what he did. Shame and guilt hit him. But look what already happened. Satan's whole job was to wipe out the whole family. The 
That's what he does. He hates it. He hates the godly. And since you make up your mind to be godly, he's coming after you with no weapon. That is formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, he said, in judgment, you shall what? Condemn it. You have that power. So what you're saying, he gives you the power to bless folk or to curse folk. That's power. That's power. So when we look at who we are in God, you better hold your head up. You better hold your head up. It's just like you, 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 you that went swimming. You, you, you got to laugh and grin. The person going on, dive in the water. And they swim. They, they may get in 15 feet. And they swim all the way over to five feet. But they underwater swimming. And you know what I'm saying? They sure ain't come up yet. They sure ain't come up yet. They sure ain't They all right? They all right. But they were trained out of holy breath. And they go to five feet. Probably, hey, they say, oh, you way over there. How you get there? I swam. I can swim like that. And that same way in Christ. You got folk you saw when you started. You don't see them again until you start growing. Amen. And when you start growing, they're going to have a word for you. Amen. Why? Because they backstroke it in God. And you'll be trained to backstroke in God. That's why the devil don't like you. Very important. That's why your enemies can't cross the water because they can't swim. If they could, they'd be in the water with you. But they can't swim. Amen. They can't swim. You finish that? This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God. Uh -huh. Nor receiveth correction. But listen, they, listen, they don't want to hear the voice of God. Listen, they don't want to be corrected. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. No, I'm right. And, I, and I've seen so many people like that. Right here. Mm. Right up here in Jacob's ladder. Yeah. Listen. Who have bewitched you? Huh? Who? Who have bewitched you to make you believe a lie? And mm -hmm. the truth. Hmm? Who? Who have? Who have bewitched you? Your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Who had been with you mm -hmm. to make you believe a lie mm -hmm. and the truth? Everyone ever stepped foot in this place learned something about God. And they should be teaching now, but they look, they don't even want milk. But they always tell you, tell me the truth, Pastor. You can't handle the truth. And the truth of the matter is Jesus died for you. That you would be free. Physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. He died for you. And you sit back. And he says here, this is a nation that what? That obeyeth not the voice of the obeyeth Lord their God. Not they don't obey. They don't obey him. Read his word and say so. <laughs> he said, "Let the redeemed of the Lord say so." They say so. <laughs> you ain't redeemed. You don't understand. Uh huh. Nor receive of correction. No, they don't want you. Don't. No. No. Pastor call you. The pastor call you. Yeah. I'm making a lot better. Making a lot too, girl. I'm telling you. He ain't come out of the church. He got an attitude. No, he ain't got an attitude. He praying for you to say, don't take your head off. Mm -hmm. I say, I'm not doing nothing about my head. I'm, I'm covered under the blood. Who blood? Because in order, and, and if you're covered under the blood, you're going to stay, what's the flow? Yeah. Of the blood. Amen. That is following Christ. Right. You can't serve no two or three masters. No, 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 no. Get a little smile. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You rebellious individuals, not you, people down the street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. They say they're on the Lord's side. And when you see, you see less that they had made the body of Christ so worldly. Mm -hmm. Do you don't know who's who? Come on, talk about it. You don't know who's who, was what. 
gospel songs, you look, you the voice sound good, you look and say, whoa. Who was that? Whoa, is she going to bed or is she going to go out or is she going to take her clothes off or what's she doing? And then there's another this song, uh, uh, what the, the, the little girls be singing, um, uh, the little girls, they come on, they got a, they got a, a video, um, what's her name, I can't even think of her name, but they be, they be doing all the worldly stuff. Yeah, he told me that, he told me that, he told me that. I can't think of her name right now. The girls were singing it. The, the, the girls were singing it. I can't think of the song right now, but it escaped me. But it, it, it's on. But the girl be singing. Nice looking girl singing. You know, but the thing is, the, the, you send off the wrong kind of message. Because you're saying one thing, that got a little bless you, but your body movement. And your and your tight clothes on and all and y'all doing everything the world is doing. I'm confused. Right, right. Called out. You know, I don't get confused. And they rejected God. Yeah. Everybody saying something about Jesus and God don't even know him. Right. They don't know him. Won't he do it? Yes, yeah, right. won't he do it? Won't he do it? He didn't did it already. Right. <laughs> so when you gonna do it? Right. When you gonna get right? You know, they, look, listen. If they had examples, they will respect his presence when they sing about him. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Am I taking too long? Mm -hmm. I'm we're talking about rebellious. Yeah. It's in your house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brothers, sisters, children, it's, in, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But you make sure you don't be rebellious against God. Amen. And I know when folk <coughs> got a love for God got a relationship with God because they respect what God is saying and what God is doing. Mm -hmm. And then they respect themselves. Amen. Very important. People have lost respect for themselves. Mm -hmm. They look any kind of way. You don't know who's who. Mm -hmm. Tell me to get my hair cut. I'll, I'll wear my dreads. Mm -hmm. Okay, dragon. Mm -hmm. What's on you? But I read the scripture. The scripture tell you some things. And keep on walking around that life goes up in there because you don't have no wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway. anyway. <laughs> it's, my, it's my culture. Okay, culture. Holiness is cleansiness. Mm -hmm. Very important. People looking for examples. Our young people look for examples. That's right. so They're growing up wrong. Mm -hmm. They're growing up wrong. Okay. You hear me? And they need help. But if their parents are disobedient to God, they're going to be disobedient to God. It's going to be worse. It will be worse. Finish that 20 verse. Mm -hmm. um, truth is perished. Mm -hmm. Truth is perished. It ain't there. Mm. It ain't there at all. Uh huh. And it's cut off from their mouth. It is cut off from their mouth. Mm -hmm. Truth. So all they do is just tell lies. That's all just lies. They don't tell the truth of the matter is I'm lying. I'm lying. That's what they're saying. Because truth is cut off. Acts 7. Verses 51. 52. And 53. Mm-hmm. You have it? Acts 7, 51. Ye stiff-necked uh, mm -hmm. and uncircumcised in heart, in heart. It's and always, ears. It's in the heart and in the ear. Your heart is messed up and your ears is dull. Mm -hmm. You do always resist the Holy Ghost. You resist the Holy Ghost. You don't want the Spirit of God to do what He needs to do in your life, in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. You won't allow Him to do what He needs to do. He has a job to do and will keep you right. As? As your fathers did, so do you. Mm -hmm. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? You killed them all. Because they couldn't deal with the truth. 
And they had the Holy Ghost upon them. If the Holy Ghost was upon them, here, upon them, and them times, wow, he's in us this time. Amen. And if he's in us, we're more powerful than they were. Right. Amen. They opened their mouth and they were slain. Mm -hmm. We open our mouth and be crucified verbally mm -hmm. because we picked up our cross to follow him. Uh huh. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, mm -hmm. of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Betrayers and murderers. Lord have mercy. People kill you with the tongue. They tell them murder your steps. All because you mean well with God. And you got to keep on doing what God called you to do. Amen. That's why we come together to learn what thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. The angels, listen, brings them. Moses gave it, but the angels constantly distributed it to them. They reject it. And since they reject it, look, look at the world. Listen. Remember they took prayer out of school? Mm -hmm. Look at the schools. Mass murdering. They come in with, look, they come in the school with weapons that they didn't get in Vietnam. Wow. That's okay. They had M16s in, 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 in Vietnam, but they come in now with AR-15. Don't jump little white out something. Bullets mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. M16s are like that. But don't joke, it's just like they, they, they do a whole new job. Because they took prayer out to school. Mm -hmm. Ever since they took prayer out to school, the devil has been going crazy. It's our youth that he wants. Yes, sir. And he is doing a job. My God, my God, help. Oh. I don't care how many principals you get, how many presidents you get, you got to put prayer back in the school. Yes. Amen. Got to put it back in there. Yeah. <laughs> If you put prayer back in the school, I guarantee it's going to change things. It has to change things. It's the power of prayer. God said, why? How can I go in here? They won't let me in. They put me out. Same way in these churches. They put me out. People just have emotions. They come in here and, and, and they're guilty of this and that or they get convicted and they're being hit. Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. And, 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 and you don't see them no more. But then you do see them again, they messed up. They were messed up when they came in. And the devil tried to make it so hard to serve God. Mm -mm. You serving him, he, listen, he got a camouflage up there. That's what he got a camouflage. That's what he is, unemployed server. Who have received the law? By the disposition of angels and have not kept it. Because the angels, listen, the angels were the messengers. They would bring it. Before God used man, he was using angels. Yeah. That's why the angels asked the question, well, who is man that that's no mind for him? Mm. What is that? Who is that? That's flesh. That's dirt. You can't dirt. You didn't build him up. And we got to obey him, God. God said, "Hush, hold your peace. Obey me." Yes. Mm. What is man? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you don't think God loves you? Yes, he does. All right, First Corinthians, verses, the third chapter, one and ten. And then my conclusion to be sixteen through twenty, or twenty first. First Corinthians. Third chapter, verses 1 through 10, and then 16 to 19. And my conclusion will be the 20th verse. All right? I'm ready when you are. And I, brethren, mm -hmm. could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, mm -hmm. but as unto carnal. But as to carnal. In other words, he said, brethren, I couldn't speak to you spiritually because you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. 
I gotta talk some yang yang to you. So you understand what I'm talking about. You know what I mean by man. Talk to you. Uh huh. Even as unto babes in Christ, mm -hmm. I have fed you with milk. I fed you with milk. Listen to Paul say, I fed you with milk. Oh, yes, I did. I fed you. Uh-huh. And not with meat. Not with meat. Because I couldn't give you meat then. You couldn't understand. So I had to give you some milk. So if I give you some milk, you can, you, 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 it gets you the nourishment that you need. So when you get that, your teeth are going to come in and you'll be able to chew some steak, some meat. You'll be able to eat that. Uh huh. For hitherto, mm -hmm. you were not able to bear it. You couldn't bear it. You could have choked. Uh huh. Neither yet now are you able. Mm -hmm. You still ain't able. Wow. Because you, you still want to drink the milk. You're used to it. Huh. Yeah, I, I remember one way to make advantage is best feed the kids. And I look and I said, those kids are greedy, ain't they? On the next he like this. Right. I got to nourish her back. <laughs> they be running around and tearing the house up. They got energized. They didn't took all that energy from her. Mm -hmm. I said, come on. I said, and they be done. They, they be watching. <laughs> Bless you, the baby girl. She always wanted it. Yeah. When she finished, she like this. And she get into then she want to get a bat and want to chase the boys and beat them with it. The baby girl. And I said, look at here, I said, look, look what those breast milk can do. <laughs> but the milk giver, <laughs> I think she a little thrown on too, she got finished feeding them. Okay. So we had to nourish her back to health. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was all well and good. We kept it all in the family. <laughs> we... <laughs> But ye are yet carnal, uh -huh. <laughs> whereas there is among you what? envying and Come on, oh, yes it is. Don't tell me that ain't in the church. I know it is. Envy and strife. And, and division. And division. Are you not carnal? Are you not carnal? And walk as men. And walk as men. Wow. It's in the church. In the church. Yeah, church. Yeah. I know you got a mirror in your house. All you got to do is look at it. It's going to say, you, you, you. You're going to say, no, no, no. You, you, you. No, no, no. You, you, you. Why? Because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if you defile this body, God said, I'm going to defile you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where you stop at? Oh, come on, before, come on. Let's For while this. one saith, mm -hmm. I am of Paul. All emotions, uh huh. And Ooh. another, I am of Apollos. A Sufu. Sufu, uh huh. Are you not carnal? Aren't you carnal? Are you talking about who you are? What, what are you doing? For while one saith, I am of Paul. Mm -hmm. And another, I am of Apollos. Are not you carnal? Mm -hmm. Are you not carnal? Who then? Who then is Paul? Mm -hmm. And who is Apollos? Come on. But ministers by whom ye believe. The ministers, that's who we are. We are ministers. Yes, sir. We bring you God's word. Yes, sir. Amen. And since we bring you God's word, you have to receive it. That's, right, that's why if you have been under this teaching. Every time I go to word, I give you scripture. That's, right. that's my backup. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna sit up and give you my opinions. I give you scriptures. You fuss with that. You don't like to tear it out your book. Go to the Old Testament. You want to read the law? Go ahead. You're going to find that. Whatever you do, don't forget God. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament will direct you to the New Testament. Every time. The Old Testament will direct you to the New Testament. And if you get in the New Testament, you think you get like, wait a minute, God, you talking to me? Here, here, send you back to Moses. He sent you back to Joshua. He sent you back to one of them just to see at that time what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why he says in the New Testament it's reality. You feel it's real. Right now. Right now. It's right now. Uh-huh. Even as the Lord gave even as the Lord gave 
to every man. Uh -huh. I have planted, Apollos watered, yeah. but God gave the increase. Yeah. That, that this way a lot of people get all tricked up at. He said, I have planted. I got it. I'll say, I have planted. He said, listen, a Paul, Paul said, I have planted. Apollos, he watered it. But God gave it grief. Two men doing two different things, but they are working with God. Yeah. Yeah. With God, and God saw it, and he increased it. He blessed it. Yeah. Uh-huh. So? So then neither is he that planteth anything. Uh-oh. Neither is he. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Don't think because you did this up. Don't mean that you did what you were supposed to do. Bless your face. That was part of your purpose. Right. <laughs> Whether you realize it or not. Well, I done this for God. And I done this for right. God. I went through this. I went through the valley by myself. Came back up and shook myself. Okay. And found out I'm still by myself. You couldn't do none of that. Because it was he that took you all the way through all of that. Amen. No way. No way. That's what his equal thing about when he told him to go down in the valley speaking of bones. Mm -hmm. He was peeking around. I don't see anybody listening. But listen, his obedience took him to another level. Yeah. That was a temptation for him. Mm -hmm. And he went and spoke. <laughs> All he did was open his mouth. So if Ezekiel done that, why can't we speak to our situation circumstances? Amen. The angels is fighting against Satan. No, the, the, the angels are fighting against Satan as we speak. Mm. He said, well, God, how come this blessing ain't come yet? God said, just to stay close to me. That's the blessing God get. Amen. He hears your pain. I said, he hears your pain. Yeah. You feel it. He hears it. <laughs> you feel it. He hears it. Yeah. And you right and I wrestle with the devil all night long. I ain't wrestle with no devil. Uh, you know they had a they, they, they had a a, a a demonstration out about uh, what's his name uh, got his head broke. Uh, 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 the one day uh, uh, Jacob. Jacob when he wrestled with the angel all night long. They had a a, a thing out on television. Now let me show you. Yeah. They show you that he was fussing at God and he was like in the bushes and the angel came. Right, and he smacked the angel. <laughs> he smacked the angel. You see the, you see the bushes going like this, like like the angel. He rumbling the angel, like he got it going on. <laughs> I say, whoever put this together is wrong as two left shoes. Because see, when the angel came, listen, the angel told me, see, listen, listen. He said, listen, I come bless you. And he was so, so excited. He grabbed that and he said, look, you got to turn me loose. Daybreak is breaking. I got to get back. And he was said, no, I can't let you go. So I, he hit him on the, on, the, on the thigh, right here on the hip. So, and when he did that, he was limp. So the angel flopped out away from his hand. And you can see the angel, with his, with his, he was flipping his wings. Oh, man, I got to get back to glory. But he said, listen, I'm going to change your name. And I'm blessed they changed his name. So what I'm saying, but I look at the demonstrations that folk has tried to do the Bible. And the only one that I seen that was closest was this, uh, was named Gibson, related to the Passion of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because Mel Gibson, yeah. that is more scriptural than anything else that I, I've seen, you know, which is very powerful by itself. You know, I say, here, he put this together. And I, I, he did, and I said that. And, and, and it was good. You know, and I've seen a lot of people, church people, church, the church folks. Save <laughs> my savior. He died for you. We needed that. We needed that death. But listen, listen, listen. You didn't know. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. You was religious. You cried too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got mad. I wanted to fight when I first seen it. Hello, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to sit up and tell no lie when I got mad. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that to him. Mm -hmm. I look at the governor and power and all of them. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you can go 
Like, I'm going to get it. What's up? <laughs> and when they whooped him, every time he got up, he was shaking. He was going, they were just whooping him. Flipping over and whooping. Boy, I was mad. I had tears in my eyes. I was, I was going through. I was hurt. And I said, God, help me. He said, son, I'm going through for you. And I cried like a baby. See, there's more to it than just that. That's the picture part. You see, but when you read the scriptures, mm. the scriptures in that, it, the love that he had, that love is powerful and it's still with us. Yes. That's why he said, look, I got to go away. I'm going to leave you the comforter. The comfort is going to have you comfortable in every uncomfortable situation you get into, which is the third person of the Godhead. He's going to live in you, but me and my father is going to be on the throne <laughs> with our authority. And because of your humbleness, because of the Holy Spirit, I got to bless you. Thank it's a you promise. Dad. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What verse you at? Seven. Seven. Okay. So then, neither he that walked that planteth anything, uh -huh. neither he that watereth, mm -hmm. but God that giveth the increase. Uh -huh. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. Are one. Uh -huh. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. He's going to bless you just for your labor. Every man is going to receive his own reward. So don't get set if he get one, he get two. He get five, he get ten, he get twelve, whatever it is. He said, what have you done? Mm -hmm. What have you done? Uh-huh. For we are laborers together with God. Mm -hmm. You are God's husbandry. Uh-huh. Ye are God's building. You are God's building. That's who you are. You're God's building. Uh-huh. According to the grace of God, mm -hmm. which is given unto me as a wise master builder. A wise master builder. Come on, I have laid the foundation uh -huh. and another buildeth thereon. Uh -huh. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. How you build upon your foundation. <laughs> Be careful. Everything can't get in there. Amen. And you've noticed in your life since you really meeting God and talking to God, you can't handle company. Hello, somebody. Sixteen. Know ye not mm -hmm. that ye are the temple of God? That's who you are. You are the temple. That's where the Holy Ghost lives in you. Uh huh. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. He lives there. Amen. He lives there. Uh huh. If any man defile. The temple of God, Come on. him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy it. He ain't playing with that. Any man or woman defile the temple of God, God said he's going to destroy them. Oh, yeah, he's going to destroy them. Not you. And you ain't got to help God. Tell me you're doing the work of God. No, you ain't helping. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. For the temple of God is holy. It's holy. Which temple ye are? Which temple are ye? Uh huh. Let no man deceive himself. Uh huh. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, in this world, what? Let him become a fool. Become a fool. Uh huh. That he may be wise. That he may be wise. Mm -hmm. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness it's with foolish. God. It's foolish with, with God. But we think it's all that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh huh. For it is written, mm -hmm. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. He take them in their own craftiness. When they think they know, He works with them. He works through them. And they think they know, they don't know. In my conclusion, the 20 verse. And again, mm -hmm. the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. That they are vain. The thoughts of the wise, they are vain. So we have to keep in mind, people of God, whatever we're going through, we got to trust God for it. Amen. We can't go no other way, because there is no other way. The spirit of rebellion come from hell. It's one of the characteristics of Satan. <laughs> And Satan makes his business for you to be disobedient against God. That's what he wants you to be.
disobedient, stay disobedient. He wants you to sin. And we got read to the scriptures. He said, if you're going to walk in your iniquity, he said, you hold your own blessings. You stop your own blessings. And you don't want to do that. You need everything that God gives unto you. Amen. In times like this, especially in the world. That's why he came into the world. We accepted his word through what he spoke to us about. And we came out of the world to go back in the world. But we go back in different. We go back with authority and power for him. Oh, yes, we do. So when we look at the situation and the circumstances, we're overcomers. Amen. We're overcomers. We're representatives of the Most High God. Amen. And since we're representatives, how are we representing Him? <coughs> we fat mouth and talking, yang yang talking stuff, or are we living a life that's really dedicated to God? When your life is dedicated to God, it looks like everything goes wrong in your life. But God said, I'm going to make it right because wrong got to come. But I'm going to make it right Amen. because you're my righteous servant. I promise to bless you. I promise to keep you. You just hold your head up. Amen. And everybody that you thought was with you ain't with you. Amen. He said, remember me. He said, my disciples loved them dearly, but they all left me. We blame Judas. We get mad at Peter. But he said, but they all left me. The only thing that was left was me and my father. He even thought his father left him when he came and rose him from the dead. He said, I thought you forgot me, father. But you came and got me. And I appreciate it because you know why? We are one. Amen. Jesus said, when you see me, you see the father. We are one. So be encouraged tonight, church. Regardless of what you're going through, what's happening in your life, whatever you do, don't rebel against God. Amen. You can rebel against people, because that's going to mean you're good no way. Amen. But don't rebel against God. He's going to bless you. And a lot of times when God wants you to do something, He say, do it. Don't allow the spirit of rebellion to sneak up on you. You can go in prayer and say, God, this is what you want me to do. God will take you to scripture and show you. And he'll tell you. Amen. And when you do, he'll bless you for seeking him. Because when you seek him, listen to him. You're going to find out that there's an experience that no human really has ever experienced unless those that seek him. Amen. So be happy and be encouraged. Amen. Father, we thank you for this time and this space. We thank you for how you blessed us. We thank you for this word that abides in our hearts and our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen.